Hey folks, this is Z-Man with Kadesh Farm. Here to give you a, just a rundown of us dealing with a deep freeze here in the south. I'm in the Middle Tennessee area, and this is the third day of us being in this deep freeze. Roughly about two days ago, it started snowing here. And as you can see uh, by my cow's tracks, it's roughly in certain areas, we got five to seven inches of snow, along with the temperatures dipping below I think they averaged zero degrees or minus one last night. Um, our car survived. I uh, kind of did some preparatory work because I knew the deep freeze was coming. And I put out hay for her, and which she's doing a pretty good job of eating it. I usually roll out my hay, but for the purpose of her having some bedding and having good quality hay to eat, I decided to go ahead and let her bell graze this roll, which is... I hope worked out pretty good. When I got out here, she was lying down out by the hay, so she had some bedding to lie down on. Um, as I trench through this deep snow, which I know you guys up north, this is nothing for you guys, but us here in the south, it shut our, our area down for three days, basically. Um, thank God it was a holiday on Monday, but most businesses were shut down a lot of things are beginning to open up because the roadways are getting clearer the secondary roads are in horrible shape uh, so a lot of businesses hopefully tomorrow will be open as you can see the beautiful bright sun is out and the salt that they have applied to the roadway is beginning to work a lot more compared to tuesday because tuesday we did have a little bit of sun but it never got above freezing the temperature may get above freezing today, maybe for an hour, but it's still the ground is frozen, as you can see from all the deep snow, and we're going to probably be in this deep freeze. Hopefully, we should get a little bit of warm-up tomorrow, but a lot of the areas that are in shade and uh, areas that are not trafficked a lot probably will still have an issue, but going back to the cow and dealing with farm animals. Whenever you do know that cold weather is coming about, it's always best to try and prepare as much as possible by emptying out your water hoses, making sure that they are free to be able to use whenever you want, preparing your faucets, outdoor faucets, for the deep freeze, uh, making sure that the animals are all situated. Some folks put out protein tubs even before and after. I actually had her own protein tub before because of the drought that we had. Here in Middle Tennessee, we did not have any stockpile growth just because of the drought that we had. I have plenty of broom sedge if anyone is interested. But as far as any grasses for stockpile for the winter, it was almost non-existent other than areas that had a little bit of moisture re retention. I do have an area on the back side of my property that has some green grass, uh, but it started growing towards the end of the summer actually and towards the end of the fall actually uh, when we started getting a little bit of precipitation and it started springing up we mostly use that area to hunt deer but it is still a struggle to find good green grass out here for her to be able to survive on it's not enough for her to do anything with other than maybe an hour worth of grass I mean, i'll give her maybe four or five hours worth of um, grazing but I will have to move her out that way. But just dealing with the extreme cold in the south is not something that we're used to, but you have to pay attention to the weather if you're a farmer and get prepared for it. And like I said, keeping your hoses cleared out, making sure that the animal's water is taken care of. If you could keep the water from freezing and you're close to an electric source, maybe a small bubbler or some type of pump would work or if you are next to water that, you know, a water supply, you can use a freeze miser. If you get an opportunity to look at a lot of videos folks are posting about the freeze miser, I have some at our other farm where our home is, and it worked out perfect. But out here in the middle of a field with no water source, I'm having to truck water in from this truck into the tank. It's all up to us just coming out and busting the water, busting the ice up for her to be able to get water. Like right now, she's drinking water. I imagine she's happy about it. Uh, yesterday, I could not get out here 
because the roads were so treacherous, but I had to make my way out here today. And uh, as you can see, my truck is over there and she's covered in snow. Um, but we were, I was able to come out and break her water up and give her a little bit of water up on that hill. You can see up there where I have my mail. Well, I have two rams up there now. And some kind of way they decided to get themselves locked inside that building. They wedged over and couldn't get back out. But I did have hay stored in there and they helped themselves to the hay. I will go back up and situate them. Uh, I did bust their water up. It wasn't too frozen, but it was frozen enough to prevent them from drinking freely. So just prepare yourself for having to deal with things like that. Uh, once we do have running water out here, establish in this in these fields part of my rotational grazing plan i won't have to worry about dealing with uh busted not busted but busted water i can always have the water constantly flowing at least keep the tanks free of ice or at least partially free where the animals can uh, hydrate themselves because they do need water in the winter time especially when they're eating a lot of dry matter like hay um again we don't have any not much green, no green grass out here for her to forage on. So whenever animals are drinking, um, not drinking, but eating a lot of dry hay, they will need water to digest that dry matter. Uh, this is not something we are used to here in the South, but it happens from time to time. Last year, we had more of a cold snap than we did a bunch of snow. This is the first time we've had snow this deep, probably in the last two years. And this is probably, no, this is about the second or third time since I've been farming where you get snow and it hang around for a week. We we're expecting another winter storm coming in, I believe, Friday or Saturday. And mm, it's going to be quite interesting. I will have to figure out how to get her more hay out here. I have a bale sitting over there that I've been kind of plucking. The net came off and it was hard for me to roll it uh, over without it coming apart and me having to worry about picking it up. So I've been picking it up, peeling it off basically, putting it in these tubs and spreading it out amongst this broom sedge out here and just attacking different areas because that hay is full of clover seeds and other seeds. So I will peel hay off for her. I have this one already pre-set. I rolled it over here with my tractor I have a small uh, BX2200 Kubota, not a big tractor, doesn't create a lot of impact onto the ground as far as packing the soil, and I already have it preset for me to roll it, I already have my toe strap ready, there's no way I'll be able to roll this by hand because it is so heavy and plus it's flat on the bottom, you can look at my other videos and show, it, it will show me unrolling hay like i said i won't be doing much unrolling uh for this part uh, but typically i like to unroll hay to build up the soil fertility as you can see i grow broom sedge pretty good i have my fire lanes cut through here because i will be burning these fields or this area down here i have seed planted in these lanes for it to green up so whenever I do burn, you don't have to worry about it crossing over. I can do a more controlled burn instead of this whole entire area burning at once. I could take my time and burn it whenever I want. Just another precaution that I have set up. Uh, it's cold out here, so I'm not going to be on this video much long. Thank you guys for watching. If you could subscribe, hit that like button, share, and just surviving the winter with livestock. Here at Kadesh Farm. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention our at our home, the five acre farm that we have there, the training ground. We have sheep, which they're being pampered. They do have hay. They have uh, we take fresh water out. I do have it close to at least a water source close to electric, where I can put a floating heater in it. But for whatever reason, they don't want to drink out of it. But they rather drink out of water, that cold water that I'm able to get out of my one of my frost-free faucets and pour it into a uh, container. And they rather drink it instead of the warm water. Go figure. But this is Z-Man, and I'm out.